Hey team, we're going to build a new app using Next.js and deploy it to Vercel. I'm Colby Fayok, and if this is your first time here, make sure you hit subscribe for future updates. This is a preview of my new ebook, Jamstack Handbook. It's jam packed with 100 pages of what you need to know about Jamstack, including three tutorials like this one. After you're done with this tutorial, I'd love if you take a second to go check it out. So starting with Next.js, Next.js is a framework that helps us build production ready React apps. It has a ton of features built right in like static site generation and server side rendering. After we have our Next.js app, we're gonna deploy it to Vercel. Vercel is actually the team that makes Next.js, but they make it really easy to ship and deploy a Next.js app. So to get started, we're gonna use this next SAS starter that I created that helps get your project up and running with SAS CSS. We're gonna run this starting command with yarn create next app, and let's call it my SAS app. And then we're gonna paste in the template URL for my SAS starter, and we'll go and create the app. And once it's done installing, we can CD into that directory then we can start our server and we can go ahead and click the server link and we see our new app. So in order to get this deployed up to Vercel, we wanna actually put this on GitHub or any of our favorite Git providers that is supported by Vercel, uh, but I'm gonna use GitHub. So I'm gonna create a new repository called my SAS app, just like the name of the actual project, hit create repository. And then GitHub actually gives us the instructions here. So we have our Git history already in place. So we can go to Git remote add, which I'm gonna run that command and then we can push that up to the origin server with git push minus u origin master. And once that's done, we can refresh the page and we see our app. So the next step, we're gonna need an account with Vercel. You can sign up with your favorite Git provider, but I recommend using the one that you used for the project. Like I use GitHub, so I'm gonna use GitHub. Now, as you can see, I already have a few projects, but once you're landed inside of the Vercel dashboard, you should see a similar import project button, which we're gonna use. Here, we can click continue under import Git repository, and then we can go back to our app. We can copy that URL, paste it in, and hit continue. Next, they're gonna ask you to configure the project. And since it's a Next.js app, Vercel actually already knows the deploy settings. So we can leave that as is, unless we wanna change the project name and simply hit deploy. At this point, Vercel's gonna kick off the deploy process, both building the app and deploying it so that it'll be ready to go. And once it's finished, you'll get a congratulations and it'll now be deployed. We can click the visit site and we see our new app on Vercel. Now, if we click the open dashboard, it'll take us to our project. The cool thing about this is since we deployed this straight from GitHub or our favorite Git provider, it's actually keeping an eye on the different commits that we push up here. That means if I push out a new commit, it's gonna automatically build and deploy that commit. So to test this out, I'm gonna start back up my dev server and open back up my server. And we have the same page as before, ready to go. Then I test this out, I'm gonna go to pages and then I'm gonna go to the index page, which is our home page. And then I'm gonna change the title to Colby's Next.js app. I'm gonna hit save. And then I can go and I can see that the title already updated. So to see Vercel deploy this, I'm gonna cancel this out. I'm gonna add that in there. I'm gonna say updating the title and I'm gonna push out that commit. And if we wait a second and refresh the page, they already detected that we pushed out that commit and kicked off a new deploy. If we click and look at the build logs, we actually see that that only took 15 seconds to update our page title. But now if we click and visit the site, we can see on Vercel, we have our new site with the title. The awesome thing about this is we can make sure that we're always pushing out our latest and greatest straight from our main branch. So if you follow along with me, you just learned how to build a Next.js app and deploy it to Vercel. Next.js Vercel is an awesome combination that makes it super easy to get production ready apps out to the web. If you like this tutorial, make sure you check out my new book, Jamstack Handbook. It has two other tutorials and it's filled with a bunch of information that you need to know about the Jamstack. And if you like this video, make sure you give a thumbs up and hit subscribe for future updates. Thanks for watching.